Hello, my name is Nijana. Nice to see you at my birth base channel. And today we will talk about Laura Park, the most impressive project in Tenerife. The name Perth Park hasn't changed since its opening in the winter of 1972. It successfully combines excellent infrastructure, competent administration and respect for the environment. Up to 7,000 species of their colorful birds live in natural conditions. One of the noble goals of the organizers is to prevent endangered species. The territory is divided into thematic corners. At the same time, some shows, exhibitions are always held in it. Visitors are offered entertainment for every taste. It will take at least five hours to inspire back to this uh, grandiose project, but I highly recommend to have at least one day to visit this bird park. The history of the project is based not on a commercial idea, but on love. Once an ordinary airline manager, Wolfgang Kisling from Germany, visited Tenerife, and he is, and his wife were fascinated by the beauty of the small island and they fell in love with this place forever and soon moved here to live. Kisling's way was complicated, but they want to create their own outdoors project. Germans bought a private mansion and arranged a beautiful hotel in it. It was very small, only five rooms, but with ideal conditions for guests. The level of service corresponded to five stars. Only privileged guests rest at the Kislings. The hotel practically didn't generate income, but Kislings continued to move steadily towards their dream, a park of parrots. The beginning was interesting and, most importantly, unusual. After all, there was nothing like in Europe. Kakatuo Leo had its first parrot show in 1972. And as you understand, there are a lot of shows and exhibitions held in Laurel Park, but I really want to mention the best one, from my opinion. It is Katandra Tree Tropes. All zones are separated by bridges with fences. Suspended transitions have a complex trajectory. Visitors pass close to the birds, they can take a close look at them. Birds may become interested in you and come closer, or they may fly away to the branches of trees and take a break from the annoying public. Most of all here are cockatoos, lorries, lorry cats and some Indian species. Feeders with special food and drinkers hang on tree trunks. Birds are fed by well-trained staff. In some places there are small waterfalls. In fact, it's very interesting to watch parrots in such close distance. The absence of cages helps you to feel like a small parrot in this world of birds. And it must be reminded that in rainy weather this pavilion is closed, so it's better to choose sunny days to visit. And also one more friendly reminder, be careful, don't walk under the parrots, otherwise you'll have to wash the poop off yourself later. An extraordinary place. And the next one I really want to show you too. Laura Show. This is a show in which pairs demonstrate their intelligence, do some tricks, speak, and also free fly show. It takes place several times a day, according to the schedule. Take your seats and be ready to see how birds demonstrate their talents. Pinguinaria. The first thing that comes to the mind at the mention of Pinguinaria is why are they not hot? The answer is simple. A huge refrigerator has been created for the penguins in Tenerife. The most powerful snow generators produce snow in huge quantities. In the penguinarium, a climatic environment is formed that is completely identical to the Arctic. The opening of Delphinarium took place in 1987. Since then, it has the status of the largest in Europe. Delphinarium is again close to natural. The bottlenose dolphin lives in the zoo's pool. The species is very cute and easy to train. Bottlenose dolphins feel so comfortable in the park that they even breed. Several generations of dolphins have grown up here and have been trained to participate in the show. You cannot touch them as well as swim with them. 
specialist cavalry monitor the health of the dolphins and exclude unnecessary contacts. Visitors are happy to see colored stingrays, jellyfishes, diamond piranhas, African cichlids. The most exciting part is the 18 meters glass tunnel, behind the transparent walls of which you can see many marine inhabitants. And for them, the living conditions are also reproduced. There are lots of beautiful and interesting places in Laura Park, even not aviaries. For example, Tiger Island, Thai Village. Tiger Island was opened in 1991 and Thai Village in 1993. And the entire work area of Laura Park been ennobled by landscape designers. The collection of over 2,000 palms from all over the world has been collected over the years. Rare varieties have developed on the island. Conditions were created from them. On the trees, they successfully adapted to the Canarian climate and took root. I was happy to visit the island and Laura Park this year and take part in a great parrot conference. I love birds very much and this was a great event for me. The conference brought together people from all over the world. I've talked a lot about the conference on my Instagram, but I'll leave the link in the description for you. See you soon in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe. See you. Bye.